Hey guys, another video for our how to do stuff in Japan playlist. Some of you might remember we made a video, actually a couple of videos over the years about apologizing in Japan, how important it is to apologize and a few tips on how to apologize and that sort of thing. So we have sort of talked about this before. However, we found that whenever we have a practical example of something, it's always easier to explain the topic if we have a practical example of it. So, we happen to have a practical of, example of it that's developed recently. So, the story is that the unskilled labourer was cutting our grass in, fr in front of the old farmhouse using a lawnmower. And the lawnmower is a bit of a rare thing in Japan, as we explained previously. Those of you who have been keeping track of all the goings on at the old farmhouse would remember that. There was a really wild piece of ground out the front of the old house. It was all overgrown and it used to be cultivated and then it wasn't and it was all overgrown and out of control so we had to sort of level it and then start cutting it and lots of rocks and trees and things. So it's been six years we've been cutting that with a mower. We had to import the mower from China because we couldn't get a normal lawnmower here. Everyone uses brush cutters or little electric lawnmowers that just wouldn't do the job. So we imported a four-stroke lawnmower from China which is a bit of a thing a lot of people here have never seen that before, so when we use the mower, even now, six years later, when we use the mower, people will often stop. People are driving past and they'll often stop and have a look at the mower. Yeah, look at that, you know. And so it's a bit of a thing. The neighbours have sort of got used to it, but um, they do still have a bit of a look now and again when we're, when we're using the thing. So anyway, the unskilled labourer was out cutting the grass a couple of days ago, and finished doing it and the lady from one of the neighbours appeared and a uh, lady from across the street appeared and sort of started to talk about something else first. There's a sort of a, 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 fa a topic about, a question about our family, our goings on with the family, sort of just polite conversation and, and sort of didn't sort of didn't sort of make sense her coming over and suddenly starting talking about the family but then she finally got to the, the point and the point was that she was in the kitchen while I was cutting the grass and she heard a bang on the window and uh, and she said she thought it came from the mower so she, she was very roundabout Japanese people often have a very roundabout way of telling a story or telling you something and and so it was very roundabout and it sort of there was a ping on the window she said and I said, oh, look, don't worry about it too much. You know, the way that the mower's designed, it shouldn't send out a rocket at any great speed. So, you know, it, it shouldn't be dangerous. And, you know, don't, don't worry about it too much, this sort of thing. And no, no, she said, please come and have a look. So she took me across the street to her house and we went and had a look at her kitchen window. And sure enough, bottom corner of the kitchen window is this starburst um, broken piece of glass or, or sort of cracked piece of glass. So a rock must have come from the mower with enough force to actually crack the window, which is sort of surprising because we've sort of got most of the rocks out of the garden and sort of haven't sort of been hitting rocks in the garden very much at all, but there's no doubt at all. I mean, you know, there's no doubt at all that's what's happened. There must have just been a, a rogue rock there somewhere that's got flicked up and with the sound of the lawnmower, you know, we didn't hear it at our end. But um, by the time it's got across the street and hit her window, she heard it at her end. So, so, so what what then is required is lots of instant apology. So, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Um, please tell me uh, when you know how much it will be to to fix it. Please tell me, and and I'll pay for it. You know. And of course, chances are, if they if they claimed it on their insurance, it would be the cheapest solution. But of course, you can't really suggest that can you and so that the obvious polite way to deal with it is just to say oh I'm terribly sorry and please tell me how much the total bill is and I'll pay it so it'll probably be uh, a window of that size and that type it's probably gonna be about mm, maybe yon man or something four hundred dollars something like that probably could be more depending, depending on how much labor's involved and how much faffing around the, the workmen do and, ho and assuming the glass isn't rare or something <laughs> So it'll be fairly expensive exercise to get it fixed. So the next start, the next stage of the of the apology is then to go to the department store 
and all department stores and most supermarkets have a counter or an area that has the gifts and it'll be food or it'll be wine or it'll be uh, condiments or it'll be something like that. They all have an area like that where they've got sort of good quality. They're, there's a variety of quality usually, so from sort of the lower end of the scale up to really expensive stuff that you can buy in a box. And they're, they're professionally gift wrapped, like really, really, really well, well wrapped. And you can just buy something. So in our case, because they have a big family and they've got grandchildren and things, we bought a box, box of adults uh, snack foods and then a box of kitty charm hello kitty box of uh, cookies for kids and and put them in a bag so it's about forty dollars probably and and it's the sort of it's 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 to extend the apology and it's it's the, the obviously the cash is going to compensate for the, the the actual cost of the repair but for the inconvenience and the and the rippling of the pond you know causing ripples in the pond and causing a causing a temporary bad vibe um, is why we have to do the present thing so and you really have to I mean you know there's not really a choice because everybody does this if you if you do something that causes somebody else some inconvenience whether you've done it on purpose or whether it's an accident people actually do this with car accidents too if you if you scratch somebody's car or damage someone else's car in a car park or something like that quite often what people will do is they'll they'll do the usual insurance quote pay, insurance insurance payment and excess payment and all that sort of stuff as well but then they'll make sure they'll also usually turn up at the person's house uh, with a with a, a, a present for them and say very sorry for having put you the inconvenience of scratching your car and give them a present and it's sort of a scale depending on how much inconvenience you've caused them you know how expensive a present you buy them so in this case because it's a neighbor and because it will it will cause them a bit of inconvenience you know you're sort of obliged to do it so it's it sort of it's sort of one of the family members after I did it, because then what, then what I had to do is take the bag across to the, to the lady and say to her, very, very sorry, and because the window repair company hasn't been yet, so we still don't know how much it is, but this is just the first step, so I was like, take it over and very, very sorry, and gave her the bag, and once again, and because her, her part of the polite thing is to say, oh, no, 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 like she's not going to accept it, like she's not going to take it, and no, 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 I can't, no, no, no. And then you've got to insist. You've got to insist. You've got to say this is only a really small thing, and, and it's only a very small thing. And it's a kimochi dake. It's just, it's just a small good feeling only. There's no. It's a very small thing. It's, you got to really play down how how small it is, and give it give it to her and just say it's just a very small gift, and it, it's there's nothing at all. And and again, I'm very very sorry. And and again, please let me know. You know. Don't, you know, not, not polite to talk about money, so you just got to say, please let me know when you know, when you know about it, please let me know, because we already, we already said we'd pay for it, so there's no need to bring that uncomfortable su subject up again, so just let me know when you know, you know. So, yeah, one of the family members, after I did that, one of the family members said, doesn't that make you feel better? <laughs> it, it's sort of... It sort of does, but it's different, you know, it's different. Japanese people do these things sort of almost automatically. It just, it's just a natural thing for them to do. Whereas some of us that come from different cultures, it sort of seems a bit unnecessary, you know. But, but it's sort of, you don't have a choice because, because this is so normal. I mean, you do have a choice. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. If you find yourself in a similar situation to this in Japan, you, you, you can not do this if you don't want to but but because it's normal because it's the normal thing to do it will it, it will probably be noticed if you don't do it and of course there's always somebody who says but that's not my culture I'm not going to do it if it's not my culture and yeah but what if yeah but what if we always get people that say all those things and you know there's there's all that but but when people are used to a certain level of behaviour, then that's what they sort of come to expect. And if you don't do it, 
an example of this, I remember sitting at a restaurant once when I first came to Japan, I hadn't been here very long, and I was sitting at a restaurant once with a group of people, and the waitress came and served us, and they went away, and came back later and served us again, and then went away, and, and one person said to another person, she's a bit rude, and I hadn't been here long, and as far as I was concerned, she was doing the, the, the usual amazing service that, that Japanese people normally give here, you know, and that staff in restaurants normally give here, and it was very, very impressive, but, but because she hadn't said all the polite things that they normally say at the restaurants, and she hadn't been quite as polite as usual, they'd seen it that she was sort of rude. And that's sort of the point about this apology thing. If you don't take the steps that people usually take when it comes to these things, it might feel as if you're not being polite enough to the other people, or as if you're not, you're not really, you don't, you don't really have any regret or any remorse or something, even if it's an accident, you know? So that would probably be the thing. If, if we didn't take these steps, and go and give the lady her, her present and say I'm very sorry, then she might get the impression that, you know, that we sort of didn't care that we'd broken her window, you know? So, so it's the way to go. If you find yourself in a situation like this, where you've accidentally done some damage to some something that belongs to somebody else, this is the way to, to go about it. To, to try and make amends. So the next step's is more simple. The next step will be that, that she'll come over very apologetic and, and present the bill from the window repair company and be very apologetic and go, oh look, I'm terribly sorry and then we have to be terribly sorry too and then put the money in an envelope. That's the other thing, of course, as we've explained previously, you know, you don't hand over cash to somebody in Japan directly. You know, you've got to put it into an envelope and very sort of politely and just sort of discreetly hand it over in an envelope, nice and nice and quietly in an envelope, and they quietly take it and everybody apologises to everybody and then she'd be on her way. That's, that's the final step, so that'll come next. Anyway, <laughs> there we are, a reason to apologise. Unskilled labourers going to have to be more careful next time he breaks the lawnmower out, obviously, because that was a very expensive cutting of the grass, that was. More videos coming soon.